Good evening, folks. I want to take a little deeper dive on the recently highlighted galactic dust maps. First, because these authors have done an incredible job mapping the Milky Way dust as best as can be done from here on Earth. And second, because the maps are important. Dust is important, not only because it shrouds our direct view of the cosmos, but because it is magic. At Cassini, they found dust was able to hide 95% of the electric current associated with Enceladus water jets, and that was a measurement in situ with a magnetometer and a Langmuir probe. So how much is dust hiding outside the solar system, outside the galaxy, throughout the galaxy? By the way, the reason that fine structure looking edge on becomes stretched ambiguous positioning when viewing from above is that we have no idea really how far away some of this dust is and how large the dusty structures are. We just don't see too well in terms of distance, and that is understandable, given that we are embedded within the galactic disk and can only currently view the heavens from this perspective. The reason this matters is because Earth should rapidly be approaching the next intersection with the dusty current sheet of the galaxy, where the galactic magnetic fields reverse, and the mainstream trigger for many super flares and recurrent nova then apply to the sun. Many super flares and all of the recurrent stellar nova we know about are allegedly the result of gas and dust feeding down onto the surface of the star. The recurrent nova we know have close enough binaries to do it often, but that's not the case for the sun. The difference with the sun hitting the current sheet would be that it's not just the gas and dust in the sheet, but the ions and the magnetic reversal point of the galaxy. Of course, we can't really be sure of how close we are. We look through the Lyman Alpha Forest, we constantly battle the polarization and reddening tricks of light through space, and we are still finding new dust populations at the galactic and cosmic scales. And all we know is that this happens to the Sun and to the Earth every 10 to 15,000 years, with us being about 12,000 years from the last one. Full story is broken down in 23 episodes of Earth Catastrophe Cycle. The dust map videos are linked below. The Catastrophe Cycle playlist is linked below. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.